Hey guys, Ethrion here from Nightmares of Sea. I'm from the Guild Legion of Scorn, and today we are covering the last and final match of the Disney Apex Cup Season 2. It is not only the final match that we are covering, it was also the final match that was played uh, chronologically. And of course, uh, we have Zhongwei on the left, who was the run-up for Season 4, and Vision on the right, who was in the top 4 for Season 4. So this is a literal, literal clash of titans. Um, just wanted to just hit this off before we get into the match itself and analysis. Uh, Vision at this time uh, was uh, trying to play the games quickly. He had about a 1 hour 15 minute window uh, in between when the game started and we, when he had to take a work conference call. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, the time pressure was uh, certainly real for him, uh, and as everyone who's ever seen him play live knows, uh, Vision likes to uh, take time to analyze and think, uh, and that's why his nickname is 300 seconds from the Taiwanese community. Anyway, <laughs> so Zhong Wei's box, we've already seen it on multiple occasions, it's a mythical realm AOE focused box. You can see Sophia to rewind AoEs, Arian Rod, Bozo is here, is Licorice here? Yeah, Licorice is there, Rian, no Gizarov, I think he substituted out the Gizarov for Ar for Illustrio because this is one of her best maps. For Vision, uh, fairly standard as well, it looks almost like a mirror image, I think the only thing that he doesn't have that Zhongwei has is uh, Arian Rod. Uh, I'm sure there are a bit more minute differences, but I will not belabor the point. So AoE play from both, expected since both banned out Juggler early. Rian Aries? No! Illustrio Rian. Okay, Illustrio on this map is very strong, so I'm not surprised that she gets second banned. Illustrio uh, Rian. So mirror pick ban so far. Rachel? Okay. Interesting. Regirding himself for the fight. Listel and Zerida banned out. Zerida is picked to pick off Zongwei's Rachel. Liana and Rachel are banned out. Aries is picked, okay. Arian Rod and Bozo, so less AoE for the follow up. Sophia is a healer. Okay, Aries and Bozo. Lit, all right. And Liana Weiler. Did lit Gizarov. Oops. Let me get rid of that. Okay. Sophia and Licorice are the final pickups. So we are starting. Sorry about that, I had to switch off another app that was in the background. That was the random sound you guys were hearing. Uh huh. AoE Aries, not not unexpected. And single target Rachel. Uh faction buff plus Al Hazard for Zerda. Listel, interesting, she has siphon, so he intends on attacking with her. Licorice defensive setup, Sophia defensive setup, and Templars for hand for handsome guy or vision. To try to withstand the onslaught from Rachel. Scepter of Divinity has really opened up a lot of opportunities to attack into Landius that were previously not there. However, you should be cognizant of the fact that it requires terrain uh, to cooperate with you before it can be activated. Okay. Okay, maximum defense. Very conservative move because I don't think um, I don't think Vision's in any position to move in unless he wants to go in with his list down, which is probably not a great idea. I mean, he can do this one, two, three, but I, again, it's not a great idea. There's no mind ball, right? Yeah, there's no mind ball, which is why it's only position like this. Yeah. Heal onto Licorice, that's the main concern for Vision because she's probably the squishiest of the lot. Okay. Joe is buying space up top left uh, in order for his team to operate. Whereas Vision can't get any all that much closer. Oh! 
Yeah, Zerida still has set up time, so she's doing her all hazard now. Okay. Sea of Miracles. Interesting that Licorice is running in the Biathans instead of Tidal Elves. Matthew. Talent applied to everybody. That is a pseudo faction buff from her exclusive. Yep. Okay, nice. Reaper touch onto the Aries. Okay. Uh, what? That's uh, interesting to move. Does he have healing of his own? Okay, so you are preventing the Aries from being healed. But the touch itself... Uh, I don't think the touch itself does all that much, you know. Wow, aggro. This is not a vision move. Uh, as someone who's watched him for a while. This is definitely not a vision move. This is not how he plays, usually. Again, you can really feel the time pressure. This is also suboptimal because now Ares is in range of Liko. Which he's not gonna do. Ooh, nice, okay. Yeah, that was Listel's talent, not the Reaper's touch itself. Probably will survive though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, whoever needed to survive, survived. Did Ares. Ares is paper. Zerida cuts through that paper. Rewind. Okay. But she's still silenced. This is gonna be painful. Ooh! Nice. So no full health sorceresses, but it's still going to be a kill because her last rites were broken. Uh, wow, this is not the vision that uh, we know. This is you, that not his style of play. Uh, <laughs> okay, dead Zerida. Yeah. Okay, so first game over. After he tried and failed to kill the Landius, I suppose. And try to kill the Ares, but ah, lost too many. Hmm. You can really feel the time pressure on on Vision. Actually, he's P one. Let's see what he does with his uh, turn priority. First pick and first ban. No surprise. Zerida banned out by Zhongwei. Interesting. He's not too worried about Ares. Same pick ban so far. Bozo. Okay. Very standard build, standard picks from Vision. I don't know whether you've realized this, but from the previous few games, uh, Vision really doesn't like to pick Ares all that often. <laughs> Even when it's available, as you can see. It really doesn't fit his playstyle, I suppose. Although it's there to threaten as an ultra long leg threat. So AoE debuffs for Vision. Rachel is a good pickup for Zhongwei to try to remove the debuffs. Liana should have been banned already, and she is. Okay, Listel is picked up. AoE debuffs again. Sophia. Sophia would be a good synergistic pick, but obviously Zhongwei is not going to let Vision have him. Her. So this will be Wyler. And this will be Wyler as well, I suppose. Yeah. So there's a bit more single target focus on Zhongwei's side with Deedlit and Rachel. Uh, not so much AoE, it's just Bozo that's the AoE. Probably will have Sleep, yeah, to enable both Deedlit and Rachel to strike. Landius is here, okay. Wait, no 3C, how interesting. On uh, Vision side, Defensive Licorice, double AoE, Bozo, no Sleep. Listel has Demonic Guard to try to guard Landius. Uh, from all these magical attacks. And uh, regroup high stakes this spell, yeah. Heavy Centurions is attack choice against uh, obviously the Unicorns of Deedlit as well as the Lightning Strike of Rachel because Lightning Strike does have bonus damage against cavalry heroes as well as cavalry troops. So there will be no bonus damage against the Heavy Centurions. However, it does limit its uh, maneuverability to three. 
you should consider building this if you want a good Lancer option for land. Yes, it's his best Lancer option, basically. Okay, so Lista moves forward, establishes a magical guard. If you realize, Landius is the only physical attacking unit. <laughs> so, uh, Lista will take all the other attacks from the opposing team. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. So gospel premature, not prematurely, but gospel ahead of time, just so she can't get unlucky silence or something else silly like that. Okay. Creates a dirty terrain, just in case anyone's gonna come in, which I doubt it. Not so soon. Okay, delete repositions. Buying space to move, sleep, no, black hole, okay. Mass heal was already used by Licorice, but there is a Dispel available. Okay, so he chooses to use high stakes instead of the Dispel. There should not be any follow-up after this, so that's relatively, well, safe, I guess. Vision's gonna push and do AoE debuffs. Rachel is immune and so is Landius. Okay, dispel, nice. So that's why Viola's standing all the way back there. There's also a mass heal, if I'm not mistaken, yep, to try to remove the debuffs as much as possible. So, Dile has no re de debuffs left on her. Nobody has any debuffs left on them. Okay, so Licorice and. Hmm. Really? Licorice and Listel's turn to strike. Okay. Oh yes, she clocks it. Nice. Good clock. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. But because there's no damage bonus, uh, it just barely gets through the troops. And there's no full health for the sorceresses as well. Ooh. Okay. So now whatever Deedlit does, she will... Uh, if she attacks, she will cause damage to her team. Gospel into Rachel again, prevent her from being debuffed. The Sea of Miracles, nice. So maximum sustain, he keeps cycling his talent just for sustain. Uh, there's a mass heal from Violet to follow, as well as Rachel's talent to try to cleanse debuffs. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, the blood dance here would be nasty. Okay, so we're locked into this uh, debuff war in the center of the map. But so far, Zhongwei is keeping ahead of the debuffs despite the damage counter showing what it's showing. Okay, Wyler heals himself back to full. There is a debuff on Bozel, damage taken plus 20 and passive block. Nothing on Landius because of Gospel, same deal for Rachel. Hoo hoo hoo! She <laughs> I'm surprised she could woo that far, but that's because of her, her tenure breeze. <laughs> Alright, let's go. So Delit's pos um not position. Um Delit's uh use in this um battle is to try to cycle her talent to try to try to get rid of the debuffs as, as much as possible. Alright, so Listel now guards for Landius. Oh he clocked the sleep, nasty. Okay, yeah, because another li Licorice 3C would be fairly painful. Wow, he's offering Wyler freely to the Rachel, but that would be quickly traded, so it's not a good idea. What the? Okay. He's gonna hurt. This is a matter of guard priority. Uh, why Landius was guarding instead of Listel. Uh, maybe you can expound upon that point later. Okay, what I do is just do it now. Okay, so um, Zhongwei is still keeping ahead of the debuffs and now the terrain is back to normal. Uh, and his team is still relatively healthy and free of debuffs. This is the position you want to be in. Uh, after the Vision has thrown all the cooldowns at Zhongwei, he's still standing tall. Okay, I'm just going to explain what I, what I said about guard priority. So, 
yeah, yeah. So basically, guard priority. You can deploy your units in a grid of nine like this. And guard priority means that uh, in in this order, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a it's a spiral that goes in from the clockwise position. Um, if a unit is hit, uh, the ones that are closer to one will be the one guarding. So in this case, because Landlius is in position one, two, three, four, five. And Lister is in position 9, he has guard priority if, let's say, Bozo's attack and both of them are supposed to be guarding. So that's what you saw happen. Um, just take note that there is no mirror image. This also applies for uh, the player on the right, P2. So that, that box of 9 that you can deploy your units is still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, it doesn't go the other way, it doesn't spiral the other way around just because you're P2. Anyway, so that was a quick uh, distraction. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so we were here, right? It, it, the terrain had gotten cleaned up because Licorice was uh, stopped from doing her 3C for a second time, which she will now uh, go ahead to do. It creates a dirty terrain again for everybody to debuff. Deedlets on the brink of death. Okay. Bozo moves up, so now he's no longer guarded by Landius. Although, if the Rachel were to uh, displace herself, um, she can still attack Wyla, who would be guarded by Landius instead of Listo. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'm sorry, there's a work text. Did. Centurions, yeah. Wireless far from dead. So that's why it's good to have many troop options. Although this is um, fairly scary for Landius and his faction bus are about to fall off. So he has two choices now. He can either attack and get the Wireless heal. Of course he'll take damage when doing so. Or uh, he can uh, attempt, he can faction buff. Uh, he'll probably want a faction buff. Yeah. There we go. Okay, finish off the Landius. Good. First life is down because his troops were down. So again, it's a very uh, unpleasant choice that uh, Vision had to make. Yeah, he needs to heal here or Rachel will be finished off. Okay, not gonna do much to list. <laughs> nice. The reflect damage. Okay. Mass heal. Good. Restores the team back to health. And currently, uh, Vision's position is slightly better in terms of taking the center or the car park spots. Mm. So Wyler has the best troop boost in the game. And that's why you see what happens where his troops easily tank uh, most of the attack. Uh oh, Bozo's available. I smell the sleep coming. No, black hole. Nice. Okay. Because the mass heal was just used. Well, does the Wyler have dispel already? I haven't been... Okay, good. I haven't really been keeping track of the cooldowns. Dead Bozo? Yeah, nice. Reaper is Reaper, after all. Dispel, yep, so Wyler does have the Dispel. Although it feels like the sustain now is not as... Oh, there goes the Listel. Yeah, he needed to play for one more turn. Yeah, the Sorceresses aren't sleep. Oof. Nice move from Zhongwei. Clock. Oh, that's it. The game is over, man. Even even the loss of Rachel, I think that's it. Okay, mass heal onto Landius. But he's sleeping, so. Did Landius? No. Oh, the troops. Nice. Troops too strong. Okay, very nice. Hits the wild. I don't think this is a kill. Oh, that was close. I was gonna say, I don't think this is a kill. And uh, Jongwei almost proved me wrong. Ah, oh, nasty. Yeah, that's a dead wild. Uh, Licorice doesn't have any more cooldowns left. 
Oh, she can cycle, right? She can cycle a here. But this is... Oh, no! Did you see that? Oh, that was pain. Let's see that again. So, this is Wyla before Bozo attacks. This is Wyla after Bozo attacks. And, and one of the random debuffs applied by Bozo was unfortunately... Cannot heal yourself. This is like... Ugh, so clutch. This active skill, I think, is from the Soul Stealer that Bozo is wearing, if I'm not mistaken. But this is just from Bozo's talent itself. Oh my gosh, that that single debuff probably cost Vision the game. Otherwise, uh, most likely, no. Actually, the Wyler would still have died anyway, because Landius is not guarding. But even then, uh, Joey had to fight a bit harder. So that would be a dead Wyler soon, I think. No. No dead Wyler. Okay. Nice. Okay, good. So Wyler's back up to health. I land this is up and ready. Nice. I remember this now. <laughs> so now the problem is that, uh, for Vision especially, the problem is that his damage counter is a lot lower than Zhongwei's. He is 54,000 damage behind Zhongwei. So he really needs to catch up on damage counter ASAP. Um, because of Wyler, it's a buff. There's one more turn left, it's turn 11. This Landis will not die from a direct attack. And therefore there's... I was going to say there's no point attacking him, but he just did it. <laughs> ah, right, the Lancer troops do quite a bit of work. Nice. Ooh, close but no cigar. Ooh, close but no cigar. Oh, man, so close. Oh, my gosh. This is why, ladies and gentlemen, you invest into your tanks. Uh, so that you can outlast your opponent 1,947 health. <laughs> first life down. Oh, wait. He died. Sorry. I, the first life must have disappeared previously. Oh, no. That was a passive block. Oh, that was so clutch. Where did the passive block, block come from? Sorry, let me just check that again. Was, was it because you ended? Where did the passive block come from? was before this. Let's see. Sorry. That was previous turn. Was it from the dirty terrain? Is that where it came from? Man, this passive block is so clutch. Well, not really clutch, you know, since... Uh, never mind. Anyway. Okay, let's see what happens. Sorry. Dispel. Okay. There's still no passive block now. This is a oh it was a licorice hit I suppose that that caused the passive block. Well, I should have been paying attention. Oh okay it was a licorice three C that caused the passive block. Let's look. So this is eleven. We were at turn twelve. Yeah, that was a licorice three C. That was the issue. All right, so we rewind back. Landis only has one health left. No more healing because Wireless Talent is gone. Oh, and it all hinges on this turn. There is no way uh, Vision can catch up in terms of damage. So his only hope is to try to kill, kill the Bozo. Bozo is 723. Defense, 10.9k 10, HP. So it makes two turns. It, the next two actions that Vision takes. Oh no! Oh my god, that's so clutch! Was that from the black hole? No, no, that was before that. Okay, 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 that was before the black hole. No, wait, that was the, from the black hole. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. So. <laughs> the black hole caused mobility minus two. Oh man. Oh that that's that's rough, man. So Lico will heal. 
try to remove the mobility minus two. Let's see whether she removes it. He sh yes. But now that means that he only has one attack against the Bozo. And if this is not cavalry, let's just say that the Lancer tree isn't well known for its offensive prowess. Ooh, 4,200. So if the black hole had not uh, triggered mobility down, Vision would have two attacks, one from Licorice and one from Landius, and he would have killed the Bozo and uh, launched into a third game. However, <laughs> this game finished on the dot at 8.59pm, just as Vision was about to head into the conference call. So, I mean, I guess he's he was also kind of happy that it ended here, so that uh, he... I uh, didn't have to play a third game after this. And um, even with this win over Vision, because Zhongwei had conceded a few rounds earlier, they were actually tied for first place. But uh, Vision turned down the offer of a tiebreaker and just let Zhongwei have the champion spot instead. So the, the champion for Disney Apex Cup Season 2 uh, is Zhongwei, uh, who is also the organizer, but he's just uh, one out over everyone else. So again, thank you very much for organizing the tournament, Zhongwei, as well as giving us the opportunity to see all these games being played. I hope everyone who found uh, found this series helpful, useful, and entertaining. And I know I've definitely enjoyed making this series. I learned a lot uh, watching all the games. Okay, so this is Ethereon, signing off.